Welcome to Design With Me. Today I will be designing a couple of posters. I'm gonna also answer some of your questions that you ask me via Instagram. And I'm gonna try a new design tool, which is Kittle. Let's set our artboard to Instagram post. I'm gonna add like the couple of phrases that comes to my mind, which is uh, pixel perfect. The next one super common in Adobe Design is the Google font and final final because we all know there is never just one final version. Make it pixel perfect, that's a phrase I hear almost every day at work so let's start with that one. I think I'm gonna go for black and white and then we're gonna add some very bright colorful elements and play a lot of typography. Separate the text to separate lines, it's gonna be much easier to transform this way rather than a full sentence. Okay, now the part is always taking the longest uh, is to choose a uh, typography. Oh, hard choice to make between Hubot Sans or this Echo Motors. I think I'm gonna go for Echo Motors, so let's add them all into the same. I feel like this is a good place, now I'm gonna add more funky elements. So let's go into the elements tab. I really like those with the uh, little texture on it. Okay, and that's gonna be the last shape I'm gonna use. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to add text inside the, the three biggest shapes. So let's go ahead and add that. So I'm going to go select the paragraph. And with this one, we're going to play a bit with the typography. Let's go for some script fonts. I really like how this looks. Let's maybe add a bit of transformation. Okay, yeah, we're getting some words. So now to more text. For this one, I'm going to use the big fat one font. I want this to more cover the shape. I don't know why every time I'm trying to choose font at the end I'm always ending up using some pixel font so let's go ahead with that one this is cool it's falling down now right I think like this will work I've just even made it a slightly bit smaller I kind of like it but I've seen there is a feature when you can change the colors in Kita so you can browse the color palettes okay this is super cool now let's try in different they're all nice, but I think we're gonna stick with our original color palette. The only thing I don't like is this shade of green. Mm, let me go a bit more brighter. The question I got asked a lot is about how I get into design. So this is a very long story, but I'm gonna try to keep it short. I was always interested into designing. Back then, the MySpace was huge and creating fan art with lots of texture, lots of collages in Photoshop. So when I was little, maybe like six, seven years old, I would spend the, all my afternoons after school on my computer and creating those, I put it in MySpace. This was just the beginning. Later on, I would pick up some projects from friends and family and I would start doing posters, brochures, uh, web designs, you name it. Like, I would catch everything just to feel like, oh look, I'm gonna redesign it in the future. Somewhere on the way, I've decided I'm gonna study automotives and robotics and this was when I realized uh, I like coding, but not the part of coding. So then I switched to study a computer science. I was doing a freelance web design, web development projects on the way while studying. After I finished university, I was looking for the front-end developer job and I realized very quickly I do like coding, but I like more designing. But you cannot learn everything at once. So right now I'm a product designer, so I get to be a part of the idea. I get to be part of the planning, I get to be part of designing, and it means that I can jump on like web development. That being said, let's use now the phrase design handoff. I feel like this is black because like developer handoff everything is dark mode, so the black background is gonna resonate the most. In the elements, let's see if they have folders. Okay, they have a lot, and that's the one I want. Every time I'm trying to make sure the design is okay, I would like step back or like step inside. <laughs> I'm gonna add the subtitles to those folder, but let's go ahead and play with this font. Tell Kittel, you have so many nice fonts and that's the problem. Actually, yeah, we can use Open Sans or Intel because that's the font I'm using the most with the product design. And the handoff, maybe Pixel, maybe Pixel font. Pixel Ultima, that's the one anyway. Okay, now let's give like a circle. So what I want to do is I want to recreate uh, iOS style folders. So usually they have the color at the beginning. I'm gonna use like super plain font that comes in Roman. That's the vibe we want slightly smaller. 
Let's just change the colors to the bright ones. Are we gonna keep the same color palette in all of them? I think that would be good. And one thing we need for both of them actually is the textures. I completely forgot to keep the like, good textures and they're really really good. Okay, so for the first one, grunge. Okay, I think this is good. So the most popular question I'm getting is how to start and how to get a job. How to start design, it's not difficult. There are so many resources online, you definitely don't need to go to university. Waste five years or maybe more to get the degree because you can learn at home in probably a year and get a very good understanding how to design. So if I were to start again as a UI UX designer, if I had completely zero knowledge, the things I would do is first I would try to understand what layout, what kind of sections are like on website, what kind of sections and stuff goes into mobile application, dashboard application. And from there, I would go deeper. What is grid? What is layouts? What is visual hierarchy? What is good typography? Train my eye for good design. And in the meantime, I would focus on practicing. Every day for one hour, I would practice different things. Or the same thing. You could practice any tool you want. It doesn't have to be Figma. But then there was no Figma where designs were made in Photoshop or even Illustrator. Mastering the tool is secondary for me. They change in super fast. There are new updates, uh, so many new features. It's really hard to stay up to date with the tool, even for me if I'm using it every day to day life. I'm still in Photoshop version from 2010. I didn't learn too many new features about apart the AI. But they must have added so many tools that I, I don't even know existed. They could speed up my work, but I don't think they're necessary. So like I said, the base knowledge in the practice is the most important and mastering the tools is secondary. Then I would go and try to find some communities on Instagram, Facebook groups, Dribbble, anywhere, just to get the validation for my design. So I would post whatever I create, wait for people to comment on them, give me some feedback, good, but I don't care. This will help me to improve when I feel like I'm, I'm good enough and I put a real life project, then I would start building portfolio. In my portfolio, I would pick only the best projects. It doesn't have to be all massive case studies. It's going to be one very long case study and just snapshots on a few other projects that will grab the client or interviewer attention. And then start pitching. Sending CV and portfolio is not enough those days, so you have to find your way to get your job, whether you go in on LinkedIn or if you want to be freelancer, then like Upwork or Fiverr. But you need to also sell yourself. So not only your skills, but yourself as a person. Make it when you like it. Okay, let's go with the last poster. And with the last poster, we're gonna keep it super simple because I feel like I was talking too much instead of designing. I can add new artwork. I was just probably lazy. I copy it, right? We could use it all the time. Okay, so for those three, let's go and pick the same one. Um, was there any others I wanted to try? Yeah, I think we go with that one because if I start again, Choosing this video is gonna be two hours long. I'm gonna change the spacing just slightly bit. A bit. Okay, and I'm gonna now search for some pixel art. And the last one, we need something called surface. And for this one, let's make the background maybe blue this time. So we're gonna change to white. Those, maybe we go with white different colors that's what we need We're supposed to make colorful designs now it's perfection perfection using balance because penguins is skinny and those two are not skinny so we're gonna make it slightly bigger slightly bit smaller just to get the balance texture and it's gonna be finished i will try plastic why not love it i'm not even changing anything at this point this is finished product. The one thing I really wanted to try in Kittel is the mockups. So let's get that one and mock it up. What this could be? This could be a t-shirt. This could be a pillow. I love how it's adapting to the surface. I will probably play around with the top text part. Uh, I'm not 100% satisfied with the placing. Probably I need to do the font sizing. But yeah, this is it. I hope you like it. If you have any more questions, drop them on Instagram or in the comments below. As soon I'm gonna answer them. If you wanna try it yourself, you can find all the links and the promo code in the description. And I see you next time.